Hi there, today we wanna to share what is in our day packs as we're hiking. You wanna be prepared when you go on hiking trails. I have my brother Andrew here to talk about what to have in your day pack to have a really successful and enjoyable hiking experience. Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons I find this very important is that we went on a hiking trip on Mount Adams one time with some friends. And we were pretty prepared, but we didn't have enough water. And we got halfway up and part of the group decided to stay at lunch counter, which is halfway up the mountain. And uh, that group that stayed was kind of, was in full sun the whole time and ran out of water. And the other half of the group kept going up the mountain. And by the time the, the second group that went up came back the group on the at lunch counter had started to get heat exhaustion um, get dehydrated and we ended up having search and rescue have to come and get us first thing you're gonna need is just a simple day pack the purpose of this is not to uh, bring everything that you own but just to be able to carry the just the basic essentials so that you can survive out um, while you're out hiking. So the first thing on our list to have when you go on a day hike is a map of the trail. And I like to store my map of the trail in a Ziploc bag. The easier hikes you go on, you could just take a photo of the trail. Usually the trail map is at the trailhead. Take a quick photo of that and then you can reference it as you go. So the next thing is a compass. This is important just in case your phone dies. You can use it in addition to a map to locate where you are. Next up are a pair of sunglasses and some sunscreen. If you are hiking somewhere with snow, these are really important because the glare on the snow will uh, give you an extra bad sunburn and can really hurt your eyes. If you're in somewhere tropical, the sun is tends to be more intense, so having sunscreen is really helpful to protect your skin. Another important thing is a headlamp or a flashlight of some sort. This is important just in case you find yourself out uh, on the hike longer than you expected and it, be and it gets dark out, you may need to turn on a light so you can see the trail. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been several times when uh, we've found ourselves out later than we thought and didn't have headlamps, so uh, this is an important one. Also, extra batteries just in case you your headlamp runs out, then you can just switch them out and still have light. Also, uh, if you're out, even if you're out during the day, um, in our area, there are a lot of caves and things along trails that are fun to explore. So having a flashlight makes that easy to just hop in and explore those. Okay, next up is a set of waterproof matches in a container that is waterproof. These have an extra length of the fire starter stuff whatever this is called um, so they burn a little bit longer and they are waterproof so even if they do get wet they're still lightable and then along with matches it's important to also have some sort of fire starter easy start fuel uh, dry paper works really well wood shavings work really well mm -hmm. yeah dryer lint actually works for starting fires really well. Something that you can have in your pack in a Ziploc or somewhere that'll stay dry in case of an emergency. This isn't like you're going backpacking and you need to be able to start a fire to cook your food. This is just in case you need to get warm along the trail or you get stuck out at night or something like that in case of an emergency. Next, I highly suggest having a jacket or extra shirt, something that you can layer up with in your pack. Even if you start out warm, you if you're climbing into alpine regions, you could start out warm and end up high higher elevation and it'll cool off really quickly. I always like to have an extra pair of socks just to layer up in case they get too cold and a pair of gloves. My hands are one of my weak points and once my hands are cold I just get kind of angry and mm -hmm. don't think very clearly so having gloves and just being able to layer up is really helpful. Another one of the most important things is a first aid kit. The most common injuries with hiking is usually blisters, simple cuts and scrapes, bruises so in this first aid kit it's important to have um, some sort of blister protection. A sen second skin is one that we usually use. It's like a uh, jelly material that you put on a hot spot or a blister that's already formed mm -hmm. and it makes it feel a lot better. It makes it um, uh, less painful. Mm -hmm. Bandages, band-aids are also really important for the, the cuts and also Neosporin is really good to put on those cuts to keep them clean and also to reduce the uh, bacteria that gets in there. Next up is snacks. Always have at least one snack per person and I like having extra because like Andrew was talking about with the headlamp you might get stuck out later than you were thinking and 
might you might want to take a side trail and go longer than you were thinking mm -hmm. so always having extra snacks is really valuable we have a blog post and a checklist that you can find in the description below so be sure to check out those and like this video to support our channel and help us keep producing more videos water is probably the most important essential when you're going hiking um, it's important to have at least two um, half liter water bottles per person when you're going hiking or uh, have a water bladder like this this is two liters or 72 ounces next to having water with you i also like to have a small sawyer water purification system this is a pouch that you can fill up at a stream a river a lake whatever um, some sort of water source and then it has a membrane filter that you um, can either gravity filter it through or pressure filter it through you just hook this up here and press the water through the bag and it squirts it through so some sort of water purification um, system with you this is super lightweight so i like like this guy along with water um, comes the electrolytes that are in your body and it's important to constantly be um, refueling on electrolytes because you sweat them out you use them up and your muscles need them to perform if you don't if you run out of them your muscles start cramping and that's really painful so it's important to have some sort of electrolyte to put in your water or um, that you can eat mm -hmm. uh, we like to do the the powder electrolytes to just put their flavor your water with it's nice if they taste good because that makes it easier to to drink them we also have used the noon tablets n u u n it's a tablet that you can throw in your water and it ends up tasting similar to a fruit juice. Another good thing to have in your day pack when you're going hiking is an emergency blanket. I've never actually had to use one um, to stay alive, but I have used one just for fun and they do work. Uh, you just unfold it and put it over yourself and it kind of reflects the heat back onto you from your body. Um, it works really well and it's good to have in case you end up being out there longer overnight even and you don't have enough clothing to keep warm next up is having extra ziploc bags whether it's for garbage whatever you s always having a ziploc seems to come in handy rope comes in handy from time to time so it's good to have on a day hike next up is a notebook and pen i'm an artist so i like having some sort of piece of paper to jot down ideas or do a quick sketch to reference for later if you're hiking with a group and you separate sometimes you might need to write down a quick note and leave it under a rock for the group behind you or something like that just to to um, help communicate along the trail it's important to have personal identification that could come in the form of driver's license an id even just a paper printout of that has your name your phone number uh, emergency contact uh, the purpose of that is if you fall down a hill or you get hurt and get unconscious and somebody needs to identify you um, it's helpful if you have that identification best if it's on the back outside of your backpack or in your in your pocket just so it, where it's easy to find easy to get to um, just in case the worst happens and you're found unconscious. Mm -hmm. And we have a printable on our website for that emergency contact card that has a space for your name, your phone number, and your emergency contact. So check that out. You can find that in the description below. Okay, next is toilet paper. Having toilet paper with you for uh, use on the trail, we suggest packing it out after you use it, having an extra bag to pack it out just to protect the environment. Uh, but it's really useful. Phone is another good thing to take on your hike, as I'm sure most of you do. A phone has a lot of these essentials built in, like a map, a compass, a flashlight. It's not good to depend on it because it can die or you might not have cell service where you're hiking. But nowadays, most places you do have cell service on a simple day hike. Usually I've found that if I look on Google Maps or Apple Maps or whatever you're using, usually it'll pinpoint my location and I can see where I'm at, which is really helpful. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, it doesn't replace having your, your compass and your map and your flashlight by any means. All right, so this is Lenny. This is my puppy. I have had him for about uh, five months. And we're, right now we're training him to go hiking with us, leash training him. Um, he's still work in progress, but he's coming along. And some of the things that are necessary for hiking with a dog is uh, usually you want to have a harness. So this is a harness. It's, it's more than just a collar because it wraps around his entire body. It's useful because oh, it's useful because it gives you more control, and uh, and it's he can't break it as easily. Another thing is uh, doggy bags, poop bags. Um, these are important when you're on the trail because you don't want to leave uh, animal waste sitting in the middle of a trail, and that tends to be where they choose to go. So 
it's good to bring poop bags with you so you can reach down, pick it up, and carry it out with you. Um, and uh, yeah, respect the trail. Dogs also need a lot of water and food, and so it's good to have, um, good to bring a water dish with you and lots of extra water. Um, I would say the same rule applies for dogs as people. He probably needs two water bottles. Also bring some treats, some dog food, just to keep them sustained for the, for the day. I also highly recommend uh, a dog pack so that he can carry his own water, or at least most of his own water and food, um, and, and poop bags, all of his own stuff, so that you don't have to carry that on your back. Since he is uh, able body here, he can do all his own work, so it's good to have a day pack for him. And it slows him down a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's important to know your, your own dog's abilities, so don't take them out for their first hike uh, don't have the first hike be like a 20 miler. Um, make sure that you know how strong they are, how capable they are before you go on a, a crazy long hike. Maybe take them on a really introductory hike, like one mile or something, just see how they do. Because their paws get kind of worn out really quick and they can get kind of grumpy sometimes. And that's true for people too. <laughs> <laughs> how far has Lenny hiked so far? Um, the longest hike that we've done together, it was a, a 10 mile day. Oh wow! So we've been we've been wor slowly working up. We started with a, I think we started with like a half mile, just to see when he was like a, just a tiny puppy, and we've gone up. Uh, we've done some three milers, five milers, ten milers. T ten miles is the longest we've done so far. Good job, Lenny. That's pretty long <laughs> distance. What the heck? Our bonus item is a pair of walkie talkies. That trip where we did Mount Adams and a friend got heat exhaustion would have avoided that whole scenario if we'd had a set of walkie talkies one for each group this is uh, definitely not a necessity uh, but it, it, it can come in helpful if you're hiking with multiple people in a large group these are 22 things to take on a day hike obviously that's way more than the 10 essentials but i like to enjoy my hiking trip so having the things necessary to make that a successful trip make it enjoyable um, is really valuable to me so this is these are the things that I've kind of honed down over the years and over the different kinds of trips we've gone on to make it as enjoyable as possible. Another thing to consider is the fact that not all of these are essentials are necessary for everybody to carry so if you if you're going with a group of five people um, not everybody needs a map and a compass just really one person needs a map and a compass and um, some of them everybody does need the water mm -hmm. probably the flashlight First aid kit, not everybody needs a first aid kit. As and you can personalize what you need for a trip depending on where you're going. In Hawaii, you probably don't need gloves and an extra sweater and all of those warm things. But if you're going into an alpine area or climbing a mountain, definitely having snow type gear is essential. Be sure to check out the corresponding blog post and the checklist in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching. And happy travels. Has about a million and a half use, possible use. I can't think of any. <laughs> 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 <laughs>